Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm sharing a DIY of how to make a glue gun holder using Dollar Tree items for the most part. So the first thing I have is this box here. It's a little frame and this glass. A coaster. A wooden fork. and four wire brushes. The first thing I'm gonna do is glue the brushes together. So I'm doing this first step, spreading this Loctite glue along with some hot glue across the top of the brush and then I'm going to glue that with the second one. And then I'm gonna repeat that step two times. And then I'm taking the wooden fork and then I'm cutting the prongs off of the middle using this flathead screwdriver and a mallet because I can't get in there with any kind of saw. So I'm just hammering in to indent it and then I'm breaking those pieces off. And the fork got a little messed up so I just used some crazy glue to fix it. And then I'm gluing the coaster onto the wire brushes using the Loctite and some hot glue. And then I'm gluing the brushes into the inside of the frame using the same glue. And now I'm gluing the glass onto the brushes as well. And I'm gonna smooth out these rough edges on the fork with this wood file. And I took the coaster off because I wanna wrap this part with some twine also from the dollar store, this will hold everything in place and then I'll glue the coaster on top of the twine once it's wrapped. So I'm showing here where I'm gonna cut the fork to make everything fit because I want the glue gun to fit in this space and then I'm gonna mark off where I'm gonna trim the top of the fork also. So this is the fork all cut off and then I'm just gluing it in. I did spray paint everything. I just gave it a nice gray coat just to cover everything and make it neutral, specifically for the glass since it had some pink in it because I'm gonna make everything white in the end. And this is how it's looking so far. So this is where the glue gun will sit once it's done and I did spray paint it white. So now I'm just going ahead and wrapping the twine around the fork just to hold that in place and I'm gluing as I go. And now I'll start wrapping around here. I'm just gonna go all the way to the to where the glass is, but I did run out of twine at this point, so I did have to run out back out to the dollar store and get some more of this. I thought I had more left uh, from another project, but um, I'll finish that later. So now I'm showing the glue stick doesn't sit up in the glass the way I like it to. So I have this pool noodle, and I just cut it into place so I can stick that into the bottom so that the glue sticks sit up higher. So I'm just showing how I did that. I'm just closing in that opening in the middle. And then once I add the glue sticks, they sit up just right. And then I'm using this little pail, which I already had for a while now. I just removed the handle and I'm gluing that on too. and reinforcing it around the edges with the hot glue. And now the twine is finished. I want the edges of the glue gun to sit right in that little pocket. So I just wanna line it up perfectly. So I'm just using just hot glue for that. And then putting that in place here. and it sits just right. And I had these beads laying around from something else and I'm just, I just glued them together, two on each side, and then I'm attaching that to the back of the brushes to just hold them up a little bit. There was nothing to stabilize the end of it. So that's there. And then I'm using these hooks 
to add a handle because I want to be able to carry this around. So I squeezed these hooks closed around the end of the chain so I can make this handle and I'm attaching those into these little wooden blocks at the edges of the little frame. And there's the handle. So I'm just adding some twine around the pail to cover the area where I removed the handle of that. And this is how it's looking. So the pail will be used to hold the glue gun and then the glue sticks go right in here. And so if I'm ready to do a project, this is how I would carry it to the area where I wanna work and set it down. And then I'll just remove the glue gun and put it right in place and it will catch any glue that drips down and it will make sure that the glue gun doesn't fall over because it does have a stand but I tend to find that that stand doesn't hold up too well and then I'm always looking for the glue sticks so this was perfect for me just to keep everything where it needs to be and then I decided to revise the chain I got a link from one of the extra pieces and I added it here and I squeezed it closed with this wrench and then I um, did that same thing to the other side just to keep the chain from being too long and getting in the way so this is how it would hang and it would easily be in either in the back or the front without getting in the way. So this is the final result now. And I'm just showing how this tray could have been used in a much shorter way if I didn't use the extra part for the pail. It could be cut off there and just used as the stand and the glue stick holder. But I like the whole setup just so I can keep everything together. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.